All right, we're working on some Wi-Fi issues, which uh, may happen off and on throughout. In between matches, I think we can maybe tighten things up. But um, we are right up next to the bowler, so we have to talk a little quiet. Almost pretend like you're watching golf. I don't watch golf. Pretend like you're announcing golf. But uh, we got here to the top five. Uh, we had 165 bowlers this year qualifying over Friday and Saturday. Uh, the top 36 made it here today. And they've been bowling all day. It was uh, four games, cut it to 18. Three games, cut it to 10. Two more games, and we cut it to five. And this is where we are right here. Well, again, we have Brandon Novak and Zeke Bate. The winner is going to be bowling E.J. Tackett. Uh, the winner of that match will be bowling Mike Jajinski, and the overall leader was Justin Knowles. We are going to ask everybody to please hit the share button. Zeke and Brandon are both from the Columbus area. Um, again, we, we give shout out to to Wendell, our, our other corporate sponsor, a sponsor for uh, TMT Bowling. Uh, Dave Wadka and Ebonite Bowling. It is pretty amazing what he's done yes. uh, for for me personally, <laughs> but for bowling. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So thank you, Dave. Hopefully you're watching. Yeah, Dave. Um, Dave does a lot. Oh, he yeah. has done a lot. Yeah, and he's a wonderful individual as oh, well. Oh, definitely. It looks like we're having trouble with the stream disconnecting and reconnecting. So we're working on it, guys. shot there by Zeke. Just get the left lane down. You know, we're, we chose this pair for the championship pair because quite frankly, over the years, this has been the best scoring pair really? in this building. You had a three-man series on this pair of 24-49 a couple wow. years ago. Three-man. I haven't got to bowl here much. I do know I do not like lanes 23 and 24. Yeah. <laughs> That's a love-hate relationship <laughs> for everybody. Monty, we know we're working on the feed right now. It should have just cleared up because we've actually got a pretty strong signal now all of a sudden. Yeah, five and six seems to be the one that people don't like. Uh, any, like 23 and 24 is either a love-hate, that's for sure. Brandon working a double right there. There has been a lot of um, very talented bowlers here this weekend. Unbelievable. Um, thank you for the update that the feed is better. What do you say, Monty? Um, yeah, I mean we've got we've got uh, a 16-time champ in the in the stepladder. 
We had a national champ that bowled, and he just missed the cut by one uh, to make it to today. Um, but oh, some of the best amateurs in the in, in this region of uh, of where we are were here throughout the weekend, and and then a lot of locals came out and bowled, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it was a it was a good weekend. We are already planning and thinking about next year. Um, obviously, we've got a few a few things we might have to just make some small changes. Nothing crazy. Uh, I do have a prize fund here. Carly, the top five, is uh, going backwards. Zeke Bait, Brandon Novak, EJ Tackett, Mike Tijinski, and Justin Knowles. I don't have a prize list in front of me. Great shot. So these gentlemen, uh, the the loser of this match is still going to win one thousand dollars. Fourth place fifteen hundred. Third place is two thousand. Second place four thousand. And today's champion is going to take home seven thousand dollars. Is that good? A, not a, not a bad payday. Is that good for a hundred and fifty dollar entry? Yeah, yeah, not uh, not too shabby. Well, like I've said several times this weekend. We work on this tournament all year mm -hmm. long. And you want it to be perfect. Not everything's always going to be perfect. No. no. Um, but I, overall, um, I think it was successful. Yes. Um, I know these five gentlemen think so. Definitely. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Wow. That was a bad break. Yeah, if you look at the top five, it's like. If you went to a, 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 re, a PBA regional in the central region. That was very much like our 2 o'clock shift yesterday afternoon. <laughs> that was an unbelievable squad. It wasn't the biggest squad of the tournament, but 2 o'clock was by far the strongest squad of the, of the two days. Again, we're still working on the feed here, guys. It'll get better. Pretty big shot in the match right here for Zeke to take the lead back over. Great shot by Zeke. Yeah, we got to give a shout out to, again, we did to our sponsors. and uh, Shout out to the Bowling Center as well. They did a great job this weekend. The mechanics in the back kept the machines running good all weekend. Um, and people say the shot was, was pretty decent pair to pair. Um, these are wood lanes, and they are probably some of the best wood lanes you're probably going to see anywhere you go. Yes. Uh, as far as the condition they are in, pretty fantastic, really. Uh, but the staff here, the staff here knocked it out of the park as we expected they would. Alicia um, kind of leading the way, and we've got uh, one of the owners, Pat, is over here watching. Um, yeah, we know we need to reboot probably. We can do that in between matches. We're going to try to get through this one. Uh, Pat's over here watching. Uh, Pat and Chuck were here for the majority of yesterday. 
I they know. were like a couple kids in the candy <laughs> store yesterday. I know. I got to spend a little bit of time uh, today talking with Pat. It's a, it's a bad mistake there. Got to. Got to cover up your spares, kids. No, it is not a dial-up connection. We're just having issues right now. Zeke Bate has a max score of 193. She's going to make Brandon. Uh, well, Brandon's got to throw the first one and you can lock him out. And that'll do it. Put him at two zero. Well, this pair <coughs> has sat for a little bit and not bowled on during the previous. Yeah, maybe round. a little, a little bit flatter. Possibly, maybe a little bit. Well, the fresh was a little tricky. shot there by Zeke. You know he's going to go out in style. And waiting in the wings to take on Mr. Novak is none other than E.J. Tackett. Big scout. <clears throat> All right, final score, 201-193. Uh, we're going to try to do a little... Scott's just kind of making sure it looks like things are running a little cleaner. No. It looks like things are running a little cleaner through the live stream. Um, I'm probably going to go and have to give Zeke some paperwork. Um, we'll wait for Scott to get back, but I don't. Zeke may not want to wait too long. It's hard to say. <laughs> He's going to get three practice balls on each lane. Mom and dad are watching. Hello, mom and dad. Mom and dad McGill are on, Wendell. Hi, mom and dad. We did not mention uh, another sponsor right now. Is the time to do it? Uh, Bowler HQ, powered by TMT Bowling. Uh, that's been a a nice little <coughs> marriage of the two, and uh, couldn't be any more proud of. Uh, 
of what's happening in that situation, and I'm happy to be there. So, so can I ask a question? Absolutely. For those of us that aren't fully aware, what is Bowler HQ powered by TMT Bowling? Okay. Bowler HQ um, is just uh, – I have a couple different hats that I wear now for Bolify. This is a company designed by Bolify. Um, and I sell jerseys during the week. I uh, work from home. We deal with a lot of colleges, a lot of high schools, and, and local teams, and, and just individuals. Uh, and that's what I spend most of my day time doing. Um, and then on the, on the weekends, we travel and do tournaments around the city and, and further. Um, so that's the second part of it, but it's building up to something much bigger to where we're working on a, a, uh, a tournament software that's going to pretty much have everything in it that you're going okay. to need. Um, all the way down to instructional, how to get a hold of a center and figure out what, what's available and what the lineage is going to be. I mean, literally break it down, and it's going to be my job to be out and about selling this program and taking par- taking care of this and taking the lead on it once we're once we All launch right. it so it's uh it's pretty exciting that's a, really that's a great idea we're gonna have some great uh, live scoring involved we're gonna or people are gonna be able to see their brackets from their phone while they're going awesome. on see who awesome. see the leaderboard from their phone while it's going on um just a lot of different things that we're gonna put together with this it'll have its own database um and, and that being said, we'll be able to uh, grow this thing across the country, and that's, that's where I get to go. Excellent. Excellent. So right now it starts off a little easier, but then, uh, you know, once we get it going, I'm going to be part of the group and, Good. and uh, maybe recruiting some other folks to be big parts of Bowler HQ uh, moving forward. So that's going to be a, a, fun, a fun ride for me, and so far uh, – Steve Fairchild and the, the group at Bolify have done amazing taking care of me and, and making sure we got everything that we need. And, uh, Perfect. Pretty impressive. And, and they've taken me under their wing. And I, you know, like I said, I uh, can't wait to see what, what comes of it moving forward. I so. know you do a great job for them. So he received the first shot of the match. Mr. E.J. Tackett doing what he did a lot of this weekend. He, uh, he did bowl the highest overall set of qualifying over the weekend with 1,010. Uh, he had 1,010, and there was one other bowler that shot 1,003 with Kirby Allen uh, throughout the weekend. So EJ, is, he's fun to watch. He's a down-to-earth guy. Um, he likes to cut it up and have fun with everybody um, he also likes to win um, I, I've been fortunate to become friends with EJ over the last few years and uh, <laughs> the kid he's just a great just a great guy Nate just asked who was doing my hair and makeup Brian Brackett wanted to know. And Wendell Barger looking nice and slim. Frank Kenner Koeniger says, get to drink get you a drink on him. <laughs> we'll start your tab up, Frankie. I'm gonna step away for a minute and go uh, take care of some administrative work here. Scott and uh, Wendell will take you through the match. Oh, we're leaving. Yeah, we're out. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> to the bar. EJ continuing to do what he's done all weekend is strike. <clears throat> can't remember. I don't know if Todd mentioned uh, EJ did have one of the uh, 300 shot this weekend. He also had 801 for his first three games of qualifying yesterday. Yeah. That's not too bad. Nah, not too shabby. <laughs> oh, it's a huge break right there. <laughs> he knows it. 
We asked him if that was his first 800. Uh, he, w- he wasn't sure. He doesn't keep track. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure he shoots more in a season than most people shoot ever. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that, Wendell, because <laughs> he was saying in league he has not shot 700 yet this year. That means I, and I said, well, how many 800s have you had? And he said, none. He said it's been all middle sixes, high sixes. <laughs> he said it's built like 14 weeks, I think. He's not shot 700 yet. Fun, fun fact, that means I'm doing just in good at, in league as EJ Tackett is. <laughs> <laughs> Something that we've always seen is, uh, you know, the better bowlers often struggle on the house shot because they're not used to seeing that over on, you know, you get that puddle in the middle and right. creates a lot of over under and they, they, they it doesn't blend very well. and they, they can't force themselves to just throw it to the friction. Right. They're so used to minimizing their miss area that they just can't can't throw it to the drive yeah. I mean I have that same problem but it's because you're really really good th- no it's because I'm just <laughs> bad on everything I ball Yeah, Ron, we're having some Wi-Fi issues here. Uh, we have EJ Tackett versus Brandon Novak in match number two. <clears throat> but we are recording it, and we will put the recording up um, after a we are through here. All right, there's a double by Brandon. Quick look at the score. You will see EJ Tackett with the front five. Brandon Novak, 79 in the fourth on a double. He's down a few pins. <clears throat> he just makes it look so easy. He does. He does. He's gonna be he's gonna be tough to beat. Not taking anything away from the rest of the guys in no. the step ladder, but when EJ's on, he's he's on. He's making it look really easy right now. He strikes like me when I'm playing Wii bowling. <laughs> I mean, Brandon's no stranger to striking either. And, I mean, Brandon's had one bad shot this game. The seven count in the fourth frame. And uh, he's just kind of run into a buzzsaw here at the moment. Yeah. Yes, he has. Yeah, Brandon's a phenomenal bowler. He made a TV show a few years ago at the World Series of Bowling. He was also... Uh, in the PBA League last yeah. year, I believe, yes. as well, or yes. this year as well, selected for that. That's a, that's huge. Yeah, and yeah, Brandon's a phenomenal bowler. Yeah, he's. We've seen a lot of him over the uh, over the years around here. Uh, he's he's no stranger to any of the TMT events.
And I see the stream is going in and out still. After this game, we are going to drop the stream and reboot it all. So. Oh. Oh, could not get the message. You were to able to see that. Ten. Yep. But right now, Ron, the bowlers are EJ Tackett versus Brandon Novak. Yeah, we already, we already covered that while you were away. He just asked me. I know. No, we covered that already. Listen. What? Who, who asked you? <laughs> that guy. Oh, uh, well, he wasn't paying attention earlier. <laughs> These two are definitely no strangers to each other, that's for sure. I'm sure <coughs> of that. They were razzing each other during practice. Well, and at one point, while they were waiting for the top ten, uh, EJ and Mike J, because his name's hard to say. I always mess it up when I try and say it. It's Jajinski. <laughs> I just call him my favorite lefty. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, there were several people. A uh, group of them just sitting back there talking about, you know, what's upcoming. And they're, they're all buddies off the lanes. But uh, when they're bowling right now, they're still buddies. Mm -hmm. But they want to beat the other one. Right. Finishes up Brandon with 238. Uh, EJ does not have to throw a bowling ball. He has 239 points already. It's a lot of points. It is a lot of points. Lots of points. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a guy, his frame. He's just a little guy. Uh, it blows my mind. The amount of torque, and revolutions, and ball speed, and it's just uh, pretty amazing to, to watch. It's all about leverage. Yeah. So I don't, I don't remember who I was talking to. I said it's almost like a, the little guys that you see playing softball hitting home runs. It's not because they're big, strong dudes. It's only because they're little, and, I mean, they've got the leverage. and the <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 it really blows my mind watching EJ. And I've watched DJ bowl for a long time and um, it, as strong as <laughs> as strong as I feel like I am I can't throw a ball that hard oh no <laughs> I'd hurt myself trying to do that so we're gonna are we gonna shut this down for a minute we're gonna shut the stream down uh